Can Auburn make the college football playoff after their big win over Ole Miss? I think they can. And should Texas A&M's Jimbo Fisher be the college football coach of the year after the turnaround he's had with the Texas A&M Aggies? We'll talk about that. And finally, how you are going to get paid to watch this one. Let's get it. This is Enough Said Sports. Hey guys, I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports as we come to you with another college football preview and prediction video for week 10 of college football here on YouTube. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for taking the time out of your day or your evening uh, to watch this content. We really appreciate all of the support that you've given us here on YouTube. If you like this sort of content, please also join us on Patreon. Uh, where we have exclusive picks to all of our college football, NFL, and NBA. Definitely check out the link in the description box below. Become a true fan of Enough Said Sports. Click that box. Check us out over there. Uh, it's only 30 bucks a month or a dollar a day to get all of our content and definitely get the age your bank account needs. I want to talk to you about a matchup that's coming on on Saturday, uh, November the 6th. It's going to be uh, the, the Auburn... Tigers going up against the Texas A&M Aggies, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on CBS. Um, obviously, Auburn's coming off a huge victory last time out, uh, beating Ole Miss, and then Texas A&M obviously coming off of a win against South Carolina a couple weeks ago. Uh, they're coming off of a bye week here. Uh, the spread in this one is uh, eight and a half in favor of the Texas A&M Aggies, and then also the total is 50 and a half points. Now, let's talk about Auburn first. So we'll talk about what I talked about at the top of the video to start with, which is I do actually believe that there's a path for the Auburn Tigers after everything they've been through this season, after dropping the impromptu game uh, to Penn State, I do believe that they can, in fact, make the college football playoffs. And I'm going to tell you why I believe that. The win over Ole Miss is going to prove to be quite impressive. Uh, I don't see Ole Miss. It's, there's a possibility, okay, if Ole Miss is able to run the table the rest of the way and not lose another game, okay, their two losses will be to Auburn and Alabama, all right? Auburn did, in fact, lose to Penn State, which is a bad loss. However, they lost to Georgia, but who isn't losing to Georgia? So they're, they're, those are your two losses for Auburn right there, okay? So you got the one – where they should have won, and then you got one where nobody really expected them to win. If they can somehow run the table, okay, go the rest of the way, win this game, this is going to be very impressive if they can go, go in and win this football game. They can finish out the season the rest of the way and not lose again and defeat Alabama. Then they got a legit shot of getting into the college football playoffs, even though they have two losses. Now, they're going to have to look very impressive in, the, in their games other than uh, the game with this game and the game against Alabama, uh, they're going to have to look very, very impressive, and they're going to have to have some style points. But I do believe there is a path for the Auburn, Auburn Tigers to make it into the college football playoff. Now, on the other side, the Texas A&M Aggies, they've obviously had an up-and-down season. They lost a couple games uh, early on in the season. Uh, but, boy, ever since that Alabama game, they have turned it around. And I do believe that Jimbo Fisher should get consideration for college football coach of the year just simply because he lost his quarterback and he had to deal with all sorts of injuries, all sorts of turmoil. And to go and beat Alabama the way that they did uh, and get the job done, I definitely believe, especially uh, if they're able to finish this season out in a respectable manner, Jimbo Fisher deserves consideration probably deserves to win it, in my opinion, or get pretty close to winning it. Uh, now, let's talk about the breakdown as far as the betting is concerned. Uh, on the Auburn Tigers side, Brian Harson is the head coach. They are 6-2. and two. Uh, They impressively defeated Ole Miss 31-20. to 20. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on that game here in a minute. Bo Nix, completion percentage for the season, 62.2, 7.3 yards per pass attempt, 9 TDs to 2 interceptions. Uh, up front, they have four seniors, one sophomore. They do have a third or fourth round projected draft pick in Nick Brom at the center position. 
Uh, this offensive line is rated very, very high in the country, 15th in the country in offensive line efficiency. Uh, as far as their defense, they run a 3-4 defense. Uh, they do have some players over there, some third and fourth round draft picks. Linebackers, Kobe McLean, Ro um, Roger McCreary at the cornerback position, and, of course, Smoke Monday, the safety. Very, very good players on that side of the football. When I watched them on film, they looked really, really good against the Ole Miss. Uh, the thing that really impressed me the most about uh, what they were able to do is how they were able to handle Ole Miss's tempo uh, on offense and how they were able to uh, keep them bottled up for the most part. Now, I do think that Lane Kiffin left some points on the board in that contest, uh, definitely left out some opportunities there where he could have just probably should have just kicked the field goal uh, and made the game a little bit closer. But nevertheless, Auburn did a tremendous job uh, definitely exploiting Ole Miss's run defense, running the football on them. Uh, they did very, very well. Uh, Bo Nix played extremely well. Lots and lots of credit deserves to be given uh, to these Auburn Tigers. Now, on the other side, Jimbo Fisher is the head coach. Uh, the Texas Long uh, Texas Longhorns, Texas A&M Aggies are six and two. They won last time out, as previously mentioned, 44-14 versus South Carolina. Zach Calzada is the starter now. 55.3% completion percentage, 6.6 .6 yards per pass attempts, 12 TDs to just seven interceptions. Up front, they have one senior, one junior, one sophomore, and two freshmen. They do have a first round, uh, first or second round draft pick projection projected at the left guard position. Kenyon Green, very, very good player. Also has Jalen uh, Weidemeyer at the tight end position. And, of course, the superstar running back Isaiah Spiller, uh, tremendous player uh, there. They are ranked 39th in the country in offensive line efficiency. Defensively, they run a 4-2-5 set. Uh, with de defensive end, Michael Clemens being a major part of that. Aaron, linebacker Aaron Hansford, uh, free safety Leon O'Neill Jr. Uh, all are going to play on Sundays. Very good players. Uh, Film-wise, they were uh, very dominant, obviously, against an inferior South Carolina team. Uh, but, you know, the thing about it is I, I really do respect, even, even though South Carolina is significantly – uh, more inferior. I do have a lot of respect for what they were able to do. Look at teams like Cincinnati struggling against Navy, struggling against Tulane, uh, and not putting these teams away. So Texas A&M deserves a lot of credit for going in there and handling their business like they should have. Now, let's get to the thoughts on this particular contest between these two teams. Eight and a half is way too much for me. I think that is way, way, way too many points. I understand Bo Nix uh, struggles on the road does not play well on the road whatsoever uh, and has not played well on the road throughout his career. However, I do see the maceration process with a Bo Nix. Uh, I'm not a huge Bo Nix fan, but I will say the young man is improving. Uh, he showed a significant amount of improvement this year. You can really tell on film. He's really been working really hard uh, on his mechanics. Much, much better, much improved over years past. Uh, really have a lot of respect for the young man and what he's been able to do here. Now, I, I think this is the game here that Bo Nix breaks out on the road. I think the, the confidence uh, given uh, from the Ole Miss game, and I, I like the matchup here for the Auburn Tigers uh, up against this Texas A&M defense. I do believe Auburn will be able to run the football. I believe Auburn will be able to throw it with great regularity, and I believe they'll be able to keep Texas A&M somewhat bottled up on the other end I think they'll do a very, very good job defensively, uh, just like they did against Ole Miss, because you got to remember, Ole Miss is a very explosive offense, among the very best in the country. I believe they're ranked third in the country, as a matter of fact. And what the, the job that this Auburn defense did uh, on the Ole Miss Rebels is to be respected, uh, is to be commended, and I think they carry that momentum on in this contest right here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Auburn here, plus eight and a half. I like Auburn to pull out the upset outright, which is going to pay very well. And I do like it to go over 50 and a half. I think points will be scored in this contest. I think Auburn scores quite a bit. And I think that forces Texas A&M out of their game plan, forces them to throw the football around the yard a little bit more than they want to uh, with the young quarterback, Zach Calzada. And it doesn't take anything away from this Texas A&M Aggies team. They've really had a really good season considering everything that has gone on and transpired this year. But this is the time right here where the momentum is going to stop for them. 
I like Auburn plus eight and a half. Auburn to win on the money line, and I like the over 50 and a half. Auburn fans, do you really think you guys got a shot at the college football playoff? And Texas A&M fans, do you think your coach, Jimbo Fisher, deserves consideration for Coach of the Year in college football? And finally, give me your thoughts on what you think about the pick itself or the bets themselves. I uh, love interacting with you guys. Give me the feedback. Really appreciate all the support you've given me. Uh, and again, if you like this sort of content, please join us on Patreon. Click the link below in the description box. It is the first link. Check us out. Appreciate it. And I will talk to you again really, really soon. Take care, guys.